Good evening and welcome back to GeoGuessr. This is the weekly challenge video for you to post your scores on the subreddit and our comments and post your screenshots and that kind of thing. More details of that down below here. I am joined with Elzarath. Hello. Fixer. Hello. And the Pastafarian. Greetings. And before we get to new business, we have to address the old business of the last week's score. Uh, we had... Uh, the best viewer score was NYO117 with a score of 12,108. And uh, that was not enough to best Tulkus with 12,192. Oh, so close. So Tulkus remains the weekly champion we have to in his absence that. here. For sure. I agree. Congrats uh, to NYO, though. Yes, congrats yeah, to NYO. Honorable mention to Deadpool from the subreddit who had a score of 25,711. But he didn't have a screenshot. So please submit screenshots with these that we can give you an official official badge of honor here. But uh, honorable mention at least to that. Indeed. Yep, yep. And I just like All to right. point out that I, I'd like to wish everybody a happy... This is Monday, by the way. A happy intercourse day. Today is a, a national holiday <laughs> in Germany, is, is what I'm told. So, and it's intercourse day, so I'd like to everybody... <laughs> please celebrate intercourse day with... with <laughs> Having intercourse with your favorite male or favorite female or favorite appendage, you know, whatever it is. So, you horny git. <laughs> <laughs> it is a uh, Pentecost, not intercourse day. But because I can't pronounce it correctly, uh, Fixer got to hear intercourse day. So, yeah, happy Pentecost or whatever you're celebrating tomorrow, today, or whenever. Not into I, I kind of I like Fixer's Holiday better, actually. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. I would like it as well, but <laughs> I think that's rather offensive to some of our viewers. Okay, let's move on then. Let's let's Indeed. let's patch it up with some GeoGuessr. How about that? Two minute time challenge. You guys can see the rules down below, uh, and the subreddit also has them as well. Everybody ready to go? Yep. Ready. Indeed. All right. In three, two, one, go. Well, I suppose happy intercourse day then. Um, yeah, so, if you want, please post your scores below. I would be happy to get at least one score. I'm looking at you there, Verta. Uh, play with us and post a score and a screenshot. And I think um, this is somewhere rather north. And there is a car following right here. Um, the sun indeed is... Well, somewhere around there, so far to the south, so we are far north. Um, the question now is, where are we exactly? It could be Norway, it could be Finland, it could be Greenland, it could be Canada, Alaska, even Russia. Oh, let's see, the car is driving on the right side of the road. Oh, what? Why did it go? Oh, very, very odd. There's something there in the distance, so we might get something from that. Um, let me just poke around, yeah, something here, so we got something after all. Well, muddy roads, I don't know if this is um, something like permafrost or um, a non-regular frosty, I don't know what it is. Um, this looks like a normal container. Although the vegetation is very scarce, uh, somewhat like a, you know what? Uh, yeah, let's put it here, something. Okay, let's make the guess. Oh, blimey. Although, ha, it was a last Oh, after no. Uh, I, I got somewhat lucky, I guess. I was close. I, I said it right away that it was in like the flatter parts of Alaska, and then I went with Canada instead because I saw a truck with Canada on the side of it, and oh. I didn't have a chance to change <laughs> anything. But it could, I mean, it, obviously, trucks can go other places, but it was definitely Canadian, a truck that said Canada that was out of Canada. Um, but yeah, I picked too major of a road, I think, is my brother, brother problem too here. I got, I went with middle, uh, northwest territories here, uh, in like the flatter area, and I got mm -hmm. to uh, 2,013 points. Alzareth, how'd you do? Uh, I went with the border between the Yukon and the northwest territories. Kind of similar thought process to you, Modi, except I didn't see the truck with the 
thing on it. I was just looking for semi-flat terrain. Apparently, I guess next to some mountains, unfortunately. <laughs> but I got 2374. I probably should have guessed further west. I didn't think there was that much flat in Alaska. Yeah, well, north it looks like nice. it's pretty flat. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Fixer, how'd you do? I, I pretty much did the same thing. I guessed like uh, in the middle of the northwest territories and got 1999. Nice. Okay. And pasta? Uh, my initial guess was somewhere in Nunavut, uh, so Canada as well, but then I changed my vote last minute to uh, somewhere in Russia, so I got 1,647 points. Uh, what? That's surprisingly not that bad. Hmm? So Russia's not a bad guess, considering. Um, but... no. Yeah, it's from the other side of the world to Alaska. It's not that far, because I uh, did some above Mongolia. So yeah, if you get yeah. on the same lateral, almost it's not that bad at all. Yep. Uh, if you're if the further further south and north you are, that's where the scores really really get bad, I think. Yeah. So that's not too bad. A not, not too bad to guess, I think. But even above Mongolia, that's like three times further than than What's my the guess. kilometer distance? Uh, three thousand nine hundred fifty-two kilometers. Oh, wow. Uh, see, I got seventeen thousand. Yeah, I'm sixteen thousand. Sixteen hundred. Yeah, sixteen hundred. Yeah. I was less than six hundred. Woohoo! Yay. Wow, way to go. I, I, I won't be repeating this, unfortunately. All right, so <laughs> let's get to round two here and hopefully get a little warmer. Let's go. Let's Three, go. two, one, go. Well, that was a bummer. Okay, we drive on the right side. That's a good thing. Uh, some truck overtaking us, I, I suppose. Yeah, he's overtaking us. Okay. Um, well, that truck looks a bit... Like we're either in uh, the US or Australia. So two pickup trucks. Um, no, we can't be Australia because of the side of the road. And uh, yeah. Okay, we got a road sign. Maybe. Oh, you gotta be. Bridge may ice. Bridge may ice in cold weather. So we can't be too far north. Um, let's see where the sun is then. Sun is. Uh, well, um, where is the sun? The north is, well, uh, this is, I totally forgot how to do this, did, didn't I? Um, yeah, we are north of the equator, I guess. Um, yeah, the sun is a bit to the south, so we are north of the equator. Which isn't very hard to guess. So I think we're some there, somewhere in the United States, um, and we can't be too far south because that, uh, yeah, uh, because there are there is actually ice going on. So we can't be Texas, Arizona, or something. Um, oh well, maybe some writing on there will help us. No, of course not. Home service, there we go, free estimates, uh, complete blah 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 blah, ah, middle of the US is better than nothing, but uh, yeah, to be honest, I have no idea where we actually are, make guess. Oh, <laughs> what a lucky coincidence. Alright, uh, I had no idea, I was trying everything I could, um, I got to a very... I saw, I saw some signs and some buildings, and then I kept going down the road. It got very, very blurry, and I was like, okay, I'm just giving up now at this point. Uh, I went with this, the middle of Nebraska, middle of the country, because I have no idea. And uh, I went with the United States because I could tell from the license plate shapes that it was the United States at least, and uh, the roadsides and all that stuff looked like the United States. So I got 2,113 points. Alvin, uh, what'd you do? I, my original guess was actually closer. I guessed kind of like down in the Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana kind of area. Um, but then I saw Columbus, and I was like, that sounds like a bit more of an eastern city, <laughs> for obvious sure. reasons. But <laughs> So I ended up guessing over by Virginia, and I got 2146. I knew it was southeastern United States from the vegetation and the road, but other than that, I didn't really have much to go on. And I'm looking for Columbus on this road, and I'm not seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, somewhere. I don't see it either. Oh, there it is. It's over to the east. To the east. Uh okay. There's Starkville and then Columbus. Okay. Uh, fixer, how'd you do? I got misled twice. So I went down the road and, and there was that gas station real close by, and I was looking at the sign and it was a little blurry, but it I could have sworn it said 
A L in caps. So I'm like, okay, well, this is mm. Alabama. So I plopped it down in Alabama and I went down the road and then I saw the sign for Columbus. I'm like, well, Columbus, Ohio. So I picked Columbus, Ohio and got oh. 2217. You still got higher wow. than me? Wow. Yeah. And then pasta, how'd you do? Um, yeah, I guess the United States as well did the thingy with the sun. So, yeah, I we had to be somewhere north of the equator. Um, I picked somewhere east in Colorado because I didn't know where I was at all and got 2,096 points. Not too bad. Good. Yep. That's about on average with me too. All right, not too bad scores, guys. I'm glad you guys uh, saw the Columbus thing because that three off. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, let's start with round three then. In three, two, one, go. Okay. Well, this looks like Africa and this is 50 kilometers per hour. So we are somewhere where they use proper um, signing and proper um, terms of measuring, like the metric system. Anyways, yeah, this, I don't know, could this be Australia or maybe South Africa? I have no idea, because there is nothing to give away any information to me um yeah let's oh yeah sign on the left so we are definitely yeah we're definitely somewhere in australia um this doesn't help at all so uh, uh, the sun is standing far in the north so we are far to the south um the equator is here so i would guess we're somewhere in victoria and I, um, I got the feeling that this guess will be totally wrong, but oh well. Okay, so there was the sign, 100 kilometers, yeah, we are definitely not in a, in a country that uses imp uh, the imperial system. Um, this isn't helping because, uh, well, blurriness. Another sign we might see. Emmaville. Okay, now to find Emmaville, which has to be a very, very, very small thingy. Well, 12 seconds. And I think we won't find it. Oh, well. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. But, 50 50. Uh, I. Press the next thing, so please fast. Oh, okay, we'll hurry, we'll hurry through this, yeah. I got uh, 1739, I knew it was going to be in Australia, just based on the blurriness and the uh, the road signs and yada yada, the dirt also. Uh, but I wasn't too sure where in Australia it was, because I wasn't really finding any clues, so I went with, it was, I knew it was going to be west or east, so I went with west and it was east, of course. So I got 1739. Alzareth, how'd you do? I went with uh, the northeast corner of New South Wales, and I got 2379. Damn. Similar thought. Fixer. Process. I went near L and I got twenty five twenty one. Oof. And Pasta, do you know your score? Uh I did somewhere in the south twenty one fifty four. Alright. I went too far west. Alright. Next round here. One two or three two one, go. Oh well, what an unlucky coincidence. Um well we're somewhere at a riverside, apparently. Uh right. Nice little river here. The sun is there-ish, so we're not too far north of the equator, so we could be somewhere in, like, Mexico. Um, it's very good because the sun is actually setting right now, uh, so it's a good thing to see. Um, guessing from the vegetation, I would most likely say it is Mexico I don't know Ugh. oh well I have no idea where to pick ah, let's pick Italy just because oh no not really now yeah, let's let's pick somewhere in Mexico it has to be somewhere at the equator ah it's making the guess for me now well blimey Oh wow, it, it was somewhere in China. 
Interesting. I, I am on the same latitude, so the sun thingy went quite well. But really? In China? Oh, wow. That is very unlikely, and I think most of the guys will be um, do, uh, making the same mistakes I did. So, wow. Cool. So we are somewhere near uh, Haiyuan. And I totally pronounced that wrong. So, well, north of Hong Kong. Well, <laughs> I think the guys will be a bit annoyed by that. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. <laughs> well, I don't know if I've ever seen one in China before. Nope, that's the first nope. I've seen in China. My yeah, first I went guess with was Thailand. closer again. I went with Thailand. <laughs> I got twenty twenty-five. I just found like a river in Thailand to go off of. Um. Alzareth, how'd you do? I originally guessed Taiwan. Ooh, that would have been a good guess. Yeah, it would have been a great guess. Then I was like, ah, I don't think there's any down in like China or Taiwan, so I was kind of debating between Thailand and um, South Korea, so I guess Jeju. <laughs> oh, that thing. I got 2024. 20, wow. wow. The one exact point. Same. Yeah, one point. Wow. <laughs> uh, fixer. Yeah, I was, I, I was torn between... Thailand and Cambodia and Vietnam. I guess Central Vietnam. We got twenty one fourteen. All right, and pasta. Uh, how did you guys find out about uh, it being an Asian thing? I did didn't see um, any hidden... skin color, and it like there people, was a yeah. bag on the ground that oh. had oh, yes, that's writing on it. Well, I was so hectic about see uh, looking for other clues, I didn't find anything. So I am on this uh, on the um, on the actual latitude. But I picked somewhere in Mexico. Oh, <laughs> man! Yeah, yeah so... the skin tone was the same. Well, the name as well. would be the same over there, too. Yeah, the, I can't yeah. see the name, so, well. I got 118 points, so I'll be losing this Ouch. time. Yep. It's not a very good All intercourse right. day for you, is no, it? No, no, it isn't. Sorry, it isn't. ruined your intercourse Oh, he's day. getting intercourse pretty hard right now. <laughs> 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 All right, round five. Three, two, one, go. Oh well, okay, people, and, well, shacks that look like they fall to the ground any minute now, um, this looks like a Russia to me, and I know this is be, uh, a little bit, oh well, um, and the sun is going down here-ish, so we're somewhere south of the equator, if I see that right, but, uh, that would mean far south of the equator, if I look that for the sun, and if that, we are somewhere near the equator. So we can be somewhere in northern Australia, but it's rather unlikely that we are somewhere in Russia. Um, anyways, the name should be somewhere, but I can't find it, um, because Firefox is formatting this window not so good, and uh, oh well. Anyways, um, the vegetation is a little bit more northern-like, I would say. Um, yeah, it's it's really hard to tell. Is that the sun or that? Hmm. Yeah, I guess this is the sun, and that means we're somewhere in Africa or Australia or even New Zealand. Ah, New Zealand might work. Ah, how about the cars then? Well, no real hint. People of different skin tones. Nope, not really helping. Well, I will pick New Zealand anyways. Um, and because my round is already pretty much screwed, you see 6,015 points, I will make that guess and lose. Alright, let's go. Yep, totally screwed. Wow. Yep. Was not, wow, did not indeed. see that coming. Did not see that well, one coming. Well, the name guys. didn't give us anything. <laughs> no, it no. did not. It threw us off, if anything else. Okay, so I went with, like, Bosnia Herzegovina, because I had no idea. I thought it was Europe, and it uh, was wrong. I got 750 or 725 points. I guess Northern Europe. I guessed up in Denmark, because I kind of, like, wanted to middle my bets in Northern Europe. Would have never guessed Montana with a name like that. Good <laughs> lord. No. 
Then I lost Suleiman in, in, in uh, Montana, I think. 1,009 wow. points. I think the large caps name was like a company name, so I was trying to go by the first name. Oh, okay. So, but still, the first name doesn't really give you anything. Yeah, it seemed more European. Yeah. Uh, Fixer, how'd you do? Yeah, I guess in Slovakia and got 790. You know, I was thinking American even. I'm like... They looked very like... American, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah they said the they building did. style looked Northern European. Right, and, and the plates didn't look American to me, but they were too blurry to no, really make a, any kind of blurry. distinction. And I, I, oh man, I had a moment where I wanted to guess uh, uh, United States, but Slo uh, Slovakia it is. We're all getting intercourse on this uh, one. Horribly. <laughs> Again, so I went for the sun thingy and got it totally wrong. So <laughs> I thought we were far south of the equator. Oh well. So um, because this looked a bit northernish to me, or maybe like uh, Eastern Europe, like Fixer uh, thought, um, I guess New Zealand. Oh uh, boy. Two hundred and three points. Ouch. Yep. So we all did score horrible ever. on this one. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. All right, final scores, guys. I think we pretty much know it's going to shake out. I don't know who's going to get first though between Alan and Fixer though. Let's find out. All okay. right, so this just looks terrible. Um, I got uh, 8,615 points. Wow. Yeah, not proud of that one. I got uh, 9,932 points. That was a rough match. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Indeed. Fix? I got 9,641. Oh, and then oh. pasta? Six thousand two hundred and eighteen. <laughs> yeah. We have well, we knew that. Really See by map, it looks horrible. Really, really <laughs> a lot of horrible. lines, huh? Part oh, of man. me wants to try to like draw designs with the lines in the map because I know I'm going to lose. So, <laughs> so if you'd that like to try to best Elzarath's score, make sure you're going to the subreddit or commenting down below and uh, using screenshots or videos to display your scores, and uh, we'll review those and announce next week's winner on uh, Wednesday next week. Yep. So I uh, hope you enjoyed yep. this episode. Oh, that's right. We and are we'll... going to be doing this on Wednesday from now on and not Mondays. Just want to make it perfectly clear. Yep. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys back next Wednesday. So Happy Intercourse Day. Happy Bye. Intercourse day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>